In this video, we are going to create an Amazon business that sells branded niche products. If this is your first time watching a video on this channel, hi, my name is Crystal. I'm a professional Amazon.ae seller and I'm the founder of Amazon Seller Society Middle East. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because we provide information about selling online and on Amazon in the UAE. The theory of creating an Amazon business that sells branded niche products is to actually leverage the power of Amazon while avoiding its drawbacks. And one of the most important things is to actually give a positive customer experience all the way from discovery to purchase. In fact, why are branded niche products doing so well on Amazon? Basically, it's very simple. Just think about it. We're just doing exactly what your favorite brands are doing. We're just following in their footsteps. Check, for example, the Quicksilver brand, which are known for surfing and board shorts. They have such a cohesive message, such a different style of you know, presenting their products to their customers. And consumer psychology is all based on trust and perceiving that when you purchase something, you are actually getting a good quality product. And that comes from having a branded product and selling it on Amazon.ae. The first step to actually creating this type of business well, it's picking a niche. Criteria, a few criteria in order to do that. Criteria number one, you need to have an interest in whatever niche you will be going into and selling products in. The great thing about this system is that you're really immune to oversaturation because you're basically in, uh, in all by yourself and you, you've created an image all by yourself. So let's go back to our initial example of Quicksilver. Obviously, Quicksilver have a lot of other similar competitors like uh, Rip Curl and Billabong. However, each and every one of those brands has its own core customers because they have their own message. And that's why, and that's actually one of the reasons why you need to be passionate about the niche that you are going to pick because you're going to need the motivation to see this whole business through. It's going to take a little bit of hard work and a lot of concentration. So you need to be motivated and you need to love what you are going to be selling. Now, criteria number two, choosing products that can actually survive shipping. That's very simple because you're going to most probably be uh, getting products from overseas and not from the UAE and you're going to be shipping those products in a rocky ship or a plane. So you just need to make sure that your, the products that you are going to be selling and that are going to be part of your branded niche product range actually survive the trip. So avoid big consumer electronics, for example, and also try to avoid fragile things such as dinner plates and mugs. Criteria number three, price. Of course, this is a very big reason why um, somebody, a customer would purchase your product versus somebody else's product. I'm not saying that you have to have the cheapest price because a lot of people make that mistake and they think if they have a very low price, then they're going to be selling anyway. No, that's the main reason why we're actually creating a brand niched product range that's in order to showcase the value of the products that you are selling. But price does play a part in the beginning, especially that in the beginning, a lot of the customers are going to be comparing you to other very well-known brands. So you need to make sure that your price is competitive. Now, I have a simple formula for that. What you can do is you can see your supplier what the cost of your product is and include shipping, referral fee, FBA fees, and all the fees that you are going to be paying Amazon in order to sell that product and multiply that by 2.5 or 3. That way you can get a good number 
definitely you need a lot of testing and you need more criteria in order to get the right pricing. However, you need to make sure that what you are selling is cheaper than what a customer would get from a big well-known brand. So you can easily compete against those good, very well-known brand, brands that have been advertising and selling for a, a lot, a lot of years. Now, after these three criteria, you should be easily able to choose a product niche. The product niche that I've chosen for this video is CrossFit niche. If you look at your favorite brands, you will see that these brands sell products that are very congruent with each other. They're not just selling randomly. They're not just selling any product. They do a lot of research to decide what their core customers would want. Yes, you don't have access to uh, these big uh, marketing campaigns or these big focus groups. However, you can see what your favorite brands are doing and you can take ideas from them if you want to create a niche that is similar to that brand. Now, for this example, for the CrossFit niche, I've decided on three main products. I'm going to work with wrist straps, pull-up bands, as well as skipping ropes. One thing that you need is to have a plan before you move on to the sourcing websites such as alibaba.com. You need to be purposeful. So you need to be spending your time efficiently on alibaba.com and you need to have a purpose. That's why keep your list ready and know what you are looking for. Let's move on to the website. Let's move on to alibaba.com so I can show you what I can do. Here I am on the famous Alibaba website and I'm not going to go through how to use this website. I do have a video on the channel about using Alibaba.com, so I'm going to link it down below. However, I'm going to be looking for skipping ropes, speed ropes. There you go. I'm just going to type in speed rope. And, you know, you're going to get a lot of results. Now, there are a lot of criteria uh, to be able to choose a good quality supplier. However, one of the things that I do do is that I check the imagery that these companies use. Because if the imagery are well established and it, it's, it contains a lot of information, that means that they're probably working with big brands because big brands demand that type of service. For example, I found this supplier. They have a really good video. However, this is the type of imagery that I was talking about. They're very well they're really good images and they're well created and they're well thought out with a lot of details, which only means that this supplier might be working with other uh, very well-known brands. And I'll just simply contact them in order to get the right, basically in order to get the right, um, the right numbers and then I can figure out if that supplier is going to work. Now, one more thing that you can easily do if you actually like that supplier and you like their, um, their prices, you can look on their actual Alibaba page and check what additional products they have. And you can see if they have the same exact products that you have in your list. Um, and see if you can get them from that same exact supplier because that way you can get some better uh, prices. This is, for example, this might work for pull-up bands that are used in the CrossFit niche. I will look at this product and I can t ask the supplier about the prices as well. If you found value from this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, if you want to be notified when we actually upload videos every single week. If you want more information about selling online, especially on Amazon in the UAE, you will find our free training course in the description box below. 
I will see you in a new video with more information. Bye.